Hello everyone, welcome to the finals of the Crystal EU tournament, PUBG Mobile second season. This is the day that's gonna decide who's gonna take the prize pool, which is around 250 euros. So the first match has already started, which is in Erangel. Let's take a look at the flight path from the north, starting just above Severny, ending between Primorsk and military base. So yeah, there were three lobbies for the semi-finals and from the three lobbies, only 18 teams were selected. That means six teams each from all three lobbies. A lot of teams had made it, I mean a lot of good teams has made it to the finals and I hope they are gonna give their best to win this today's game and take the prize pool home. So the team who, which scored the best in the semi-finals was ICE Esports with a total of 50 points. Just above Ultima Rays, uh, Rays Dream Team and Team Attila. They all scored 49 points in the semi-final. So this is going to be a tough one. 18 teams, 71 players. So things has already gone bad for Ultima Rays over here just outside school being attacked from two sides from the apartments by So and from school Team 7 So team 7 has managed to take down one player from Ultima Rays just after getting inside the school. Good start for this team. So team Ultima Rays is down to two players, they are gonna have to play it pretty safe in order to not lose too much points in this first game. And here we can see an early fight between Team Attila and Game Zone. So Clown just managed to secure one kill point for the team. So 
So we still have 18 teams and 68 players. Things are pretty okay for now. So let's take a look at team Attila which is also down to three members because one member was taken down by game zone So around the eastern breeze we can see Yaba from E star quite alone over here. So he decides to take some shots at XM. So another team is also quite near Team Dream. Matthews decides to join the fight. I'm not sure if they're aware of the situation. Giving some misfires over here. Looks like they are still testing the teams and getting proper information. Yeah, and they decides to move on. Yeah, about taking some shots at Ben Me from Dream. Quite a damage, but still did not manage to knock him out. And there you go, you can see the first sift of the circle. Quite a shift over there. Looks like XM is being fired from two sides by E Star and Dream. Yeah, Dream engaging with two teams. Matthews trying to get some clear shot.
So let's check out this battle going on between Team 7. And Team So. All team are outplayed. Yeah. And the battle continues around the north northern part of the east bridge. Team QX has spotted Team US So here we can see team visual, one kill point, this will have 18 teams and 61 players remaining, all teams are still intact even though some of them has lost some players. And here we have Team Hustle. They also managed to sto score quite good points in the semi finals 46 points, 20 kills points by Hustle in the semi finals. So there you can see the next shift of the circle has gotten even smaller. Dream Team They also managed to show quite a good uh, great performance in the semi-finals 49 points and 23 kills
so here we can see the fight going on between few teams ice alpi qx lot of teams around the same place and in few seconds the zone is going to be even smaller we are down to 17 teams Oz is out of the game Ice is the team which has managed to show one of the best performances and according to the points they were the best performing teams in the semi-finals with a total of 50 points 23 kills And the circle has gotten Im even smaller. There goes the sift. Now it's gonna be a hell of a battle. <laughs> e star and dream. Another battle going on between Ultima Rays We are now down to 16 teams. Ultima Outplayed is also out of the game. 49 players, 16 teams. fired all over the place fourteen teams
three, four, down to one tier. Teams. 36 players remaining. Twelve teams remaining, thirty two players. <laughs> Team Alp Alpi still has a few. Teams, 21 players. FM. Game over. Sorry, game zone. FM. On the verge of being wiped out. Game zone pushing hard. Still not managing to find that final tier. And down to seven teams. Quite a show going on over here. So here we can see E star. Dream and AFS, EFS. And the blue zone kicking in, making it hard for everyone. Whoa. Four teams remaining, nine players. Ultima Race, Ice, Esports, Game Zone, and Hustle. by ice grenade action by all the teams still not ready to get out and face each other in the open time for some smoke three seconds Ultima versus Ice over here. Oh, last player remaining from Ice as well. Three 
teams. Duo from Ultima Rays, trio from Game Zone, and a solo from Ice. Oh my god. Ice is also wiped out. 3v2. Game zone versus Ultima Rays. Who is going to win the final battle? Who is going to take the chicken dinner? Final battle. Now's the time. And that was it for Ultima Rays as well. So. So the first sweet chicken dinner goes to Game Zone. With a total of 13 kills. Congratulations to Game Zone. Really nice, nicely played. Quite a lot of kills for the first game. Well done by you guys. On the second position, we have Ultima Rays, two kills. Third position, Ice Esports. 10 kills for Ice Esports. Fourth position, Hustle, 1 kill. Fifth position, E Star. 6 kills for E Star. Sixth position, EFS. 4 kills. Seventh position, we have Dream Team. With six kills so that was the first game which was in irangel we'll see you guys in the next game in a while
so welcome back as you are uh, sorry as we are getting ready for the second match which is going to be in Miramar let me give you some information about this tournament this tournament is organized by Crystal EU you can check out their discord channel if you want to participate in their further tournaments and scrims you can join their discord server and yeah not to forget this the winner of this tournament takes home a total of 250 euro for the first place it's gonna be 120 euro for the second place it's gonna be 80 euro and for the third place it's gonna be 50 euro so get ready for some action so that were the results from the semi-finals a semi-finals b and semi-finals c the point system so just a few seconds and we are gonna take a look at the flight path of Miramar a big map full of desert so the teams who are gonna play slow and steady this is for you guys take it slow so that you will be able to secure some placement points so yeah let's go and there you go the flight path from the east to the northwest starting from Impala ending around ruins I hope the teams will not get too early into fights so it's it's gonna be advantage for one but at the same time it's gonna be a disadvantage for the other so if you really want to take home the grand prize you need to make sure you play really So Ultima out, outplayed around Impala. In Puerto Rico, we can see Team Hustle. And we might be able to see an early fight between Team Ice and Seven. So Team Ice has been showing a really great performance since the semi-finals. In the first game it was really good as well. 13 kills, first position. So they are really safe if they are going to play safe and secure some good kill points. They are going to be able to take that first prize pool.
and around Los Santos sorry Los Leones Team Dream has managed to take down one player from XM and secure the first kill point we still have 18 teams 70 players remaining and there you can see the first circle just around the northeastern part of Miramar pretty much half of the teams are still outside the circle So most of the teams are still busy gathering all the loot they need evenly spread out around the map except Pecado. So around Monte Nuevo we can see Team Ultima Rays who were able to secure that second position on the last game but they still need some kills, more kills if they really want to take home the grand prize and also placement points at the same time. And here we can see team visual they just got inside the circle from the western part also a really good team they also showed a really nice gameplay in the semi-finals taking home one chicken dinner securing 47 points and 12 kills that was the result of the semi-finals let's see if they are gonna things turn things around in the finals on the first game they were not able to score the first three positions but yeah let's see what happens in this game so yeah looks like they have already spotted team QX Team QX just approaching the circle from the western part and there goes some shots by QX trying to give some damage One player from Visual is still there gathering 
all the infos they need for the team. And just between Minas, Generalis and Junkyard we can see Team Hustle engaging in a, fi in a fight with Ultima outplayed. We still have 18 teams. Kratos moving forward. And the first shift of the circle is also there. Down to seven team, uh, 17 teams. So Hustle just managed to take down Team Ultima outplayed. Securing that nice four kill points. And the fight continues between Ice and Team Seven. Looks like ICE is down to two members and Team 7 still has a whole squad. Bad news for ICE Esports. The circle has gotten even smaller. Tony is also knocked out by your daddy. And there you go. Ice is also out of the game. Four kills for Team 7. We still have 16 teams. Let's take a look at a possible fight which is already going on. Game Zone and E Star.
both of the teams trying to get some knockout but not really managing to get Looks like he did not spot it that one. Game zone still has a whole squad. Meanwhile, Dragon is knocked. And Ishtar has a trio. Big Kai needs to be revived. Here we can see another battle going on between RV and EU4. We still have 16 teams, 49 players remaining. QX is also quite near, but still holding on to that compound EU4 decides to move on and change their spot things looking not so good for EU4 And the blue zone is also kicking in. We still have 16 teams and 48 players alive. EU4 is down to two members. So let's take a look at the circle which has gotten even smaller. Not enough space for 16 teams. Here we can see Team PNG Penguin going strong with the whole squad and two kill points.
RVL. Down to two members. There are multiple fights going on. I'm still trying to show the bird cam. Let's see some drone footage. Penguin trying to take out XM. Thirteen teams, thirty three players alive. Multiple fights going on all over the place. ATL trying to secure some kill points. Team Dream. Oh yeah. Down to five teams.
four teams, ten players, ATL and Dream Team really close over here. Giving that risky revive was a successful one. Knocked once again. Team QX, Team 7, Attila and Dream for the final battle inside Miramar. Down to three teams. Team 7 QX Only 6 players Video. And 2 solo players from 2 different teams Dream QX and 7 Delta from 7 taking that nice cover. Now we need to move in. 7 is also down. And yeah, that was it. Wow. Pretty intense. So, the second second dinner goes to Dream Team. With a total of 7 kills. Well done Dream Team. Congratulations to you guys for the chicken dinner of Miramar. On the second position we have QX. Yeah, QX with a total of 15 kills. Well done by QX. That's a lot of kills. And on the third position we have Team 7 with 6 kills. Fourth position, Attila with 10 kills, nice one. Fifth position, Alpi, 3 kills. Sixth position, EU4, 1 kill. Seventh position, RVL, Revolution, I think. Yeah, 2 kills. So yeah, that was it for the second match which was in Miramar. We have a total of 5 games today. And the next game is going to be in Sanhok. Which will start in few minutes. After that, there will be Miramar once again and the final map will be in Erangel. So don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't we'll see you guys in a while
so what's up you guys i'm back and pretty ready and pumped up for the third match which is going to be in sanhok i hope you guys are also enjoying the finals of crystal eu pubg mobile tournament season 2 and we are about to see the third match which is going to be in sanhok starting in few seconds if you guys are enjoying the live stream let me know in the comments if you guys haven't subscribed please don't hesitate to show some love and hit like for the live stream as well so let's go to sanhok there you can see the flight path from starting from western northwestern part just above hatin and ending around the central eastern part just above kampong so a lot of possible drop locations as the flight path goes just from the middle of the map we have 18 teams 72 players and this is going to be interesting in sanhok we have only one match today so so your best guys let me see what you got so around boot camp we can see attila around pinan team 7 around ruins we have ultima rays around the southern part of camp alpha we have eu4 inside hartin we have ultima outplayed qx just around the western part of hartin So EFS and Dream already engaging in that early fight. EFS, oh my god. One player is already down, two players are knocked out. Only one player remaining from EFS. This is not looking good for EFS. Things are going pretty good for the start. Fake Zeto alone has managed to take down two members from EFS. Easy for sure. Searching for the last remaining member. So around boot camp we can see team Attila and Yuri squad.
So there is another battle going on between Team Ice. And Team Ultima Rays. Still the whole squad. Team Ice. Let's take a look at Ultima. So successful revive for Team Ultima Rays. So three teams around the same area. Team Revelation. One player is down, sadly. Tony is also down from Team Ice. Looks like Team EFS, easy for sure, has been wiped out from the game. Slays from Ultima Rays gathering some intel. Looks like they are planning to wipe out Team Ice. On the high grounds we have two members from Ultima Rays ready to engage. And there is another fight going on around Camp Alpha between EU4 and QX. Both of the teams outside the circle in the blue zone. Around Pan it looks like Alpi just managed to take down Game Zone.
so here we can see the shift of the circle battle going on between visual and ATL oh my god visual is also wiped out from the game four kill points for ATL We still have 15 teams and 51 players remaining. Naruto knocked stay bro from s seven. One more player knocked. Team seven being attacked from two sides by Attila and Alpi. Things looking pretty bad for team seven over here. Some throwable action going on over here. Whoa, nicely executed by team 7, they just managed to wipe out team Attila, wow, making it quite difficult for team Attila to look at all the players just above the grass, my god. Eleven teams, thirty four players remaining. Team Hustle is also down to two members. Alpi just managed to take down two more players. And ready to take more players down. Just in position.
last player remaining from revelation looks pretty bad for him and that was it for motak we are now down to 10 players 29 uh, sorry 10 teams 29 players are still alive Alpi going strong with the whole squad and six kill points Another fight going on between E Star and EU4. Penguin versus Alpha. Alpi decides to go strong in. And that was it for Penguin. We are down to 8 teams now. 21 players are still alive. Ultima outplayed. Seven teams, 19 players. And the blue zone is kicking in. A whole squad from Alpi. We can also see Ice over here with a duo. Ultima outplayed and E star.
Also, my outfit making it pretty hard for this star to move inside. Six teams, 13 players. And there goes the push by E star. Taking down successfully one member from Outrage. Sorry, Outplayed. Around the high grounds, we can see Alpi and Hustle. Down to four teams and ten players. A trio for Ultima outplayed. Start trying to take that opportunity and grab some kill points. Alpi trying to wipe out Ultima outplayed. Down to three teams. A duo from E Star. Trio from Ultima outplayed and another trio from Alpi. Down to two teams, Alpi versus E Star. And Alpi has managed to take the third chicken dinner of the game. I mean, the third chicken dinner of the third match with a total of holy shit, how many kills is that? 14 17 kills that's like 25% of the lobby 20 to 25% lot of kills for LP pretty well played well executed great performance by LP I hope you guys could see it on the live stream I try to show it as much as possible all the battles yeah chicken dinner for lp for this match on the second position we have e star with a total of seven kills third position we have ultima outplayed i think that's correct yeah with seven kills fourth position hustle one kill fifth position seven four kills sixth position qx with six kills seventh position we have ice esports with six kills guys yeah that was it for the third match if you guys are watching the live stream and haven't subscribed to my channel Please show some love, show some support because we need it. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the live stream. Hope to see you in the next game, which is going to be in Miramar. That's the fourth game. And this is the second season of PUBG Mobile tournament organized by Crystal EU. If you are interested, 
to join the tournaments and scrims please follow the link of their discord server just below the live stream on the description yeah see you in a while
so we are back for Miramar once again this is going to be the fourth match for the finals yeah if you made some mistakes during the first game in Miramar this is the time to correct all your mistakes try to show some nice gameplay score some more points even if you were not able to score good points in the earlier games you can still manage to gather some good kill points and position points as well even if you will lose it won't be of any disadvantage to any teams just to climb up the ratings yeah now let's take a look at the flight path starting from east around El Azahar ending around El Pozo in the west so we can see team EFS around El Azahar E star flying past Zonkyard Team Ultima outplayed around San Martin. Around El Pozo, we can see Team QX, Crater Fields, Team Revelation, so LP already getting involved in the early fight. Sandrick from Alpi has already managed to take down one member and gather one point. One member from Visual is down and Visual is now down to three players. So there goes the first circle. There is another fight going on in Pecado between Team 7 and Team Ice. Let's take a look at it. Seven is already down to three players. Team Ice going for that push. We still have 17 teams, 64 players.
battle continues between seven and ice Stay bro is not And team seven is wiped out from the game A member from Visual has spotted another member from ATL, Attila. Sixteen teams, sixty players alive. Team EU4 Another possible battle between Alpi and Revelation. Revelation decided not to stop here. Maybe they real uh, realize there is a whole squad of Alpi. Whoa! They managed to knock down one player from a vehicle. Revelation down. Ultima Rays They were about to engage But the battle just stopped
we have a situation around Los Leones. XM Christine taken down by dreams. Team XM down to two players. Team Penguin, still a whole squad. They were about to engage with Ultima Rays. Maybe they decided it's too early for a battle. Deku from Team Visual trying to get some clear shots. Three teams around the area. We are taking a look at the western part of the circle right now. EU4, Revelation, and Visual Esports. And there goes another shift of the circle. Another battle going on between E Star and Hustle. E Star has this advantage of the high ground. And Visual decides to join the fight as well. Trying to take down the last remaining member from Team Revelation. We start going for that push. Team Hustle is also down to one player.
Team Ultima Rays engaging with QX. Ultima race down to one member. Two versus one. And we are now down to 15 teams. Ultima Rays is also wiped out by Team QX. Fifteen teams and the zone has gotten really tiny. There you can see how tiny the circle has gotten. Last member remaining from Visual Esports. Surrounded by EU4. Ice Esports is also really close. They might as well engage in the fight. We still have 14 teams. Ice Esports giving a hard time to Visual and QX at the same time. 13 teams remaining guys. And QX is also out from the game, down to 11 teams.
game visual is also out Alfie still has a whole squad. 19 remaining, 21 players alive. And Alfie goes for the push. Seven teams, 17 players alive. Six teams, 15 players, game zone. Ultima outplayed. Duo remaining from Ultima. Trying to make it inside the circle and the blue zone pushes in as well. Down to five teams. Looks like Team Ice is also wiped out. Four teams remaining. Three teams, eight players. Game zone, Alpi. Where's all the team? Yeah. Here we have solo player from East Star. Successful revive for game zone. This is going to be the final fight for Miramar. Three teams. Clown tries to take out Yaba but gets knocked, knocked and finished instead by Yaba. Seven players alive, three teams remaining. Being pretty careful over here, all the players not trying to make silly mistakes. And E Star is also down by a grenade. Payne manages to take down one more player.
game down to two players. Only one player remains. And Payne manages to take down the final player of game zone. One more chicken dinner for Alpi Esports. Wow. So the fourth the chicken dinner of the fourth game which was in Miramar goes to Alpi with a total of 12 kills really well played by Alpi going on full going on with a full force full effort showing all they got one more chicken dinner for Alpi congratulations to you guys second position we have game zone with eight kills third position E star with a total of six kills fourth position EFS easy for sure one kill fifth position Ultima outplayed three kills sixth position ice esports six kills seventh position penguin one kill yeah that was the fourth match which was in miramar in a few minutes we'll be watching the final game which is going to be in erangel once again if you are guy if you guys are watching the live stream and are enjoying it please don't forget to like the live stream and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already we'll see you in a while
So we are back for the fifth and final match of the day, which is in Irangal. So Irangal once again. I hope you guys are excited. I'm excited as well for the final game. Let's take a look at the flight path as usual. So it goes straight from south to the north starting just around the western part of military base ending around the northern part of shooting range. So Team Dream has already dived from the plane. Dream is eSports and ICE eSports moving towards military base. Game zone flying above Ferry Pier. Attila flying towards Quarry Visual eSports just near Gatka. EU4 just about to reach Potsinki. Ultima outplayed just past Potsinki and moving more towards the east. XM flying towards farm. Around school and apartment we can see team 7. Sixteen teams, sixty three players. So the first possible battle might be between Team Revelation and Visual Esports around Gatka. Let's take a look at it. And there you go, first knockout by visual and finished as well. Mota goes in for backup. Motak is also knocked by Deku. Kinder comes in with the rifle. Oh. And that should be the first team wipe from the game. Revelation is wiped out by Visual Esports. They also lost one of the members in this battle. But nevertheless, they managed to score four kill points for the game. Uh, sorry, for the team. So we can see the first circle around the northern part of Erangel. Most of the looks like most of the teams are outside the circle.
So in the Roosevelt area we have Alpi. Still safe and sound. No kills, no early fights going on over here. 15 teams, 58 players remaining. Ice Esports moving towards the circle. Team 7 trying to get in a fight with EU4. Team XM around the bridge just on the western part of Yasnaya. Alpi just managed to take down two members from XM and the fight continues between EU4 and 7 bros around the water city area. Team Ice has also joined the fight.
three teams around the water city area this battle is taking quite a long time trying not to make any mistakes We still have 15 teams, 53 players remaining. Another fight going on between Penguin and Ultima outplayed. And the circle has gotten even smaller. The blue zone has also started to kick in. Multiple fights going on. Ultima race engaging with Dream. Down to 14 teams. Forty six players are still alive. from game zone trying to take out Rico but was unsuccessful looks like they have stocked up everything around this area inside the shelter vehicles Around shooting range we have Ultima outplayed. Penguin down to one member. Forty-three players are still alive. Dream.
beam taking a nice high ground and destroying Ultima Rays. On the other side, we can see XM. We still have 14 teams and 40 players alive. Team 7, still a whole squad. As you can see the map has sorry the zone has gotten even smaller the circle Having quite a difficulty, technical difficulty over here. Down to 12 teams. MF from Team Ultima Outplayed has spotted Penguin going for that push. And Penguin is also out from the game. Game zone also decides to move on. We still have 11 teams, 31 players remaining.
What's in my range? Taking a great deal of damage over here. Nine teams remaining, 24 players alive. Last pair remaining in green team. Team Alpi trying to take him down. There goes the grenade. LPQX East Star Ultima Rays Four teams, nine players Only three teams remaining. East Star, Ultima, Rays, and Alpi Esports. Andre goes for the push. And there you go. Two teams remaining. A whole squad from E Star versus a duo from Alpi. Big Rich is knocked out. by pain one v two Whoa! 
Yeah, and that was it. Oh my god, Alpi. What did you guys eat today? So. <laughs> that was it for the final game as well alpi on fire oh my god so the last second dinner for alpi as well with a total of 10 20 kills oh my god again 20 kills wow really well done by alpi esports i think it's clear that they are already going to win this tournament but still we are gonna wait for the results until the official announcement is made so yeah alpi kudos to you guys 20 kills on the second position we have e star three kills third position ultima raise with seven kills fourth position qx with a total of four kills on the fifth position we have eight kills visual sixth position dream esports with five kills seventh position we have game zone so yes that was the final match of the day that was the finals of crystal eu PUBG mobile tournament season 2 with a grand total of 250 euro as pool prize 120 euro for the first winning team for the team who comes second it's gonna be 80 euros and on the third position the third team who's going to get the third position is going to get 50 euro so yeah this tournament was organized by crystal eu if you haven't joined the discord server we have linked yeah we have the link posted in the description of the live stream you can follow the link and join the discord server for future tournaments and daily scrims so yeah thanks to crystal eu for letting me or for giving me the opportunity to stream this game especially yuri yeah this is the end of season 2 crystal eu PUBG mobile tournament if you're still watching the live stream and haven't subscribed to my channel I would kindly like to request you for the last time to subscribe my channel and you can also like our live stream you can follow our channel for further games and further more live streams upcoming games upcoming random rooms everything you guys thank you for joining us tonight stay well stay healthy have a good night ciao ciao goodbye good night